Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. Good evening, How are teacher. you? I am tired. Tired. Me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that makes two of us. Ah, esa frase se la voy a enseñar. Permítanme. Mm -hmm. What? Ya le digo. Permítanme. Si ustedes me dicen a mí, I'm tired. Ok. Yo les puedo, ustedes pueden decir, that makes two of us. Que el equivalente en español es, ya somos dos. Ok, that makes two of us. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to call attendance. What is the significance? Meaning. Sí. Yeah. Uh, the meaning is like when you say, ya somos dos. It's okay. Uh -huh. En otras palabras, me too. Yo también. <laughs> okay. You can say that. I'm tired. That makes two of us. Okay. Entonces, ustedes pueden ocupar la frase, that makes two of us, casi que para cualquier cosa. Si alguien dice, uh, I don't understand, usted dice, that makes two of us. Como si yo tampoco entiendo. ¿Verdad? Y así. So, um, let's do this. I'm going to call attendance. Just give me a second as it loads. Okay, calling your names now. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present the teacher, Welcome. I am here. Welcome, okay. Carles Ernesto López. Present, present teacher. Welcome, Baudilio Lenilson. Present teacher. Welcome, Carlos Thank Alberto Santos. Carlos Alberto Santos. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Present, present. Ok, welcome, Carlos. Cecia Gemima Ortiz. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present teacher. Welcome. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Salvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Uh, he has problem of connection, teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Ever Daristi de Soya Ruiz. Presente teacher, I am here. Welcome. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Presente. Welcome. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, José Present. Valentín. Okay, thank you, thank you. Present. Welcome, Jose Amilcar, welcome. Jose Benjamin Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. 
Hello, Jose Benjamin. Jose Benjamin Gavidia Guevara. Jose Valentin Rivera López. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, presente, teacher. Welcome. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Se está conectando, teacher. Ok, thank you. Carlos uh, Alberto Santos Reyes también presente. Ok, Carlos Alberto Santos. Thank you very much. Gracias, teacher. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. María de Lourdes Miroslava. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Sí. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening Welcome. Teacher. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Teacher. Yes. Mauro has problem connection. Good. Ok. Thank you. Aquí lo veo conectado a Mauro. Ok, bueno, está conectado hasta acá. Thank you. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Welcome. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Eh, Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. I Good am right. Well, okay, welcome. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Okay. Cecia Gemim, bueno, Cecia nos está escribiendo por acá, dice que se conectará un poco tarde aún en tráfico, ok. Bueno, la esperamos entonces. Edith Consuelo Represa, Toledo. Acá tenemos en el chat algunas entradas. Juan Carlos, presente, ya está su asistencia. Iván Alexis, ya está su asistencia. José Valentín, ya está su asistencia también. Y Juan Francisco. Arrasábal. Ok, tomamos asistencia. Um, Edith Consuelo Represa, no. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Welcome. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivet Merino. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Hernández. Santos Mauricio. Salvador, aquí lo veo conectado. Vamos a ponerle acá asistencia. Presente, teacher, me acabo de conectar todavía. Ok, ok, welcome. Santos Mauricio, Arias Valle, Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Hi, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ok, tomaremos asistencia nuevamente al finalizar la clase. Ok. Vamos, inglés principiante, módulo 3, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. Once again, this is session 14, and today is July the 11th of 2023. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to have a review. Un repaso, veamos. Was and where. This is last night and now. Robert is at work last night, at work now. But <clears throat> at midnight, last night, he wasn't at work. Okay. Why is that? 
because he was in bed, he was asleep. Okay, very important. Take a look. At midnight, last night, he wasn't at work. No estaba en el trabajo. He was in bed. Estaba en la cama. He was asleep. Estaba dormido. Ya tenemos a Ever Francis Alvallero. Ok, Ever Francis. Ya está su asistencia. Thank you. Ok, so remember, uh, when, when you use the verb be as in the present, when the verb is am or is, the past is was. So you say, I am tired now. I was tired last night. Okay, this is the past. Where is Kate now? Where was Kate yesterday? That's the past. The weather is nice today. That's today. That's the present. The weather was nice last week. That's the past. So you use was, I was, where was Kate? The weather was nice. It was nice. When the verb in present is are, the form in past is where. So you are late now. You were late yesterday. That's the past. They aren't here now in past. They weren't here last Sunday. Short review. Remember the affirmative form for the subjects I, he, she, and it, you use was. For the subjects we, you, and they, you use where. In the negative form for I, he, she, and it, you're going to use wasn't. That's the short form of was not. And we, you, and they, you have to use were not or the short form weren't, which is more common. So examples, last year, Rachel was 22, so she is 23 now. When I was a child, I was scared of dogs in the past, not anymore. We were hungry after the trip, but we weren't tired. We were hungry after the trip, but we weren't tired. Estamos hambrientos después del viaje, pero no estamos cansados. The hotel was comfortable, but it wasn't expensive. It was a good hotel. So what are we going to do here? By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of the verb be. Additionally, you will also learn you will learn how to express years. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular y responder preguntas con el pasado del verbo ser. También aprenderán a expresar los años. Tenemos por acá la entrada del chat. Franklin de la O, presente. Ok, Franklin, welcome. So, what is that? Take a look. Ya aprendimos la forma afirmativa. Ya aprendimos la forma negativa del verb be en pasado. Entonces, ¿qué nos queda? La forma de pregunta. ¿Qué pasa con la forma de pregunta? Mauro Orlando dice, ya está presente. Ok. Ya está tomada su asistencia. Gracias. Ok. Algunos reportan que tienen problemas de conexión. Que lo saca de la reunión. Bueno, um, voy a contestar acá por WhatsApp. Ok. Comentan aquí los compañeros, ¿verdad? Que tienen algunos problemas para entrar, que en algunos casos los saca de la reunión. Entonces, eh, mi respuesta es, bueno, lástima por los inconvenientes, ¿verdad? Pero igual siempre siga intentando entrar porque por cada minuto que estén en la reunión eso cuenta en el porcentaje de asistencia, ¿verdad? Así que no se rindan. Ok. Mónica Merino, presente. Welcome. Okay, so questions with the past of the verb be. Now look, when you have a question, well, it's easy. Just the subject and the verb be change places. And you have a question. Cuando ustedes tengan que hacer una pregunta con el pasado del verb be, no vayan a utilizar did. Did es para los otros verbos. Para el verb be, no van a ocupar did. 
Solo van a ocupar, solo van a cambiar de lugar el sujeto y el verb be y hasta su pregunta. Antes decíamos you were para hacer la pregunta, ahora es were you. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. Or no, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Econ? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? Now, these the first questions were yes, no questions. But these are information questions. Where were you born? I was born in South Korea. Now, you need specific information to answer these questions. No vayan a decir, where were you born? Y usted le va a contestar, yes, I was. Porque no tendría nada que ver. Esta es una pregunta de información específica. En otras palabras, una pregunta abierta. So, where were you born? I was born in South Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. Yes, Juan Francisco. Ah, presente, nos dice por acá, Juan Francisco Arrozábal. Creo que ya está su asistencia tomada. Sí, ya está tomada su asistencia, gracias. And then you have, what city were they born in? ¿En qué ciudad nacieron? What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul, Korea. But as usual, there is more information. So take a look. Was and where, the form. Affirmative, again, you say I, he, she, it, was. We, you, and they, were. In the negative form, for I, he, she, it, you say wasn't. We, you, and they, weren't. And the question form, again, is very easy. You have the subject and you have the verb be and they change positions. And now you have a question. You say, was I, was he, was she, was it, were we, were you, were they? That's your question. No vayan a ocupar did con el verb be. Nada que ver. Acuérdense. So, some examples. Take a look. Was the weather nice when you were on vacation? Was the weather nice? Was it nice? Your shoes are nice. Were they expensive? Estaban caros. Were they expensive? Why were you late this morning? ¿Por qué llegaste tarde esta mañana? ¿Por qué estabas tarde? Donde sea que le esperara. So why were you late this morning? How much was your jacket? How much means money. How much se utiliza para preguntar cuánto vale o cuánto costó, ¿verdad? How much was your jacket? And was the exam easy? Was it easy? So that's the idea. Remember, to ask a question, you have to use was first, and then I, he, she, it, or the equivalent. You say, was he, was your brother, was she, was your girlfriend, was it, was the house, etc. Were we, were you, were they, okay? I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp now. So everybody, you can have it and study. Okay, that's was and where uh, question form. And the short answer is very important. Very easy. Uh, when you have a yes, no question, remember, you can use short answers. Cuando ustedes tienen una yes, no question, pueden utilizar las short answers, como ya hemos estudiado con anterioridad. ¿Y cuál es la clave para contestar una yes, no question? Solo fíjense en el verbo con el que inicia. Ese verbo le va a dar a ustedes la clave para saber eh, qué verbo van a tener que utilizar al momento de responder. So, you say, yes, I was, yes, he was, yes, she was, yes, it was, yes, we were, yes, you were, Yes, they were. Negative form. You say, no, I wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, she wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, we weren't. No, you weren't. No, they weren't. Okay? Examples. Were you late? 
No, I wasn't. Was Tom at work yesterday? Yes, he was. Were Sue and Jim at the party? No, they weren't. Okay. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp. Les mando la información para que puedan estudiarla posteriormente con toda tranquilidad. Okay, before we continue, do you have any questions about the question form? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta sobre la forma de pregunta del verb be? Any questions? ¿Una consulta? ¿Duda? ¿Algo que no les haya quedado del todo claro? Es el momento de preguntar. Vamos a los ejercicios. No questions. Okay, we continue. Now, take a look at this. Exercise. Write questions from these words. Was and where. Plus, sorry, these words. Uh, was and where. Put the words in the right order. ¿Qué va a hacer usted? Tiene que utilizar las palabras que están entre las plecas. ¿Verdad? Lo que está entre plecas no lo vaya a separar. Por ejemplo, en este caso dice this morning, no me vaya a separar this y morning. Que no, porque no están separados por plecas. Esta es una sola unidad acá. Las va a colocar en orden y además tiene que agregarle was or where. ¿Ok? Esa es la idea. Tiene que ponerlas en orden y además colocarles was or where donde sea necesario para que sea una pregunta lógica. ¿Ok? Ahora, es una conversación. Por lo tanto, todo lo que diga esta persona va a ser contestado por la siguiente. Y lo que diga esta persona puede también puedes modificar un poquito lo que le pregunten a continuación. Fíjense en la respuesta. En algunos casos la respuesta es sí o no. Por lo tanto, ya saben ustedes que es una yes no question. Pero cuando la respuesta no es un sí o un no, tienen un information question. Acuérdense que las information questions comienzan con un question word. Es decir, con what, when, why, how much, how many, who, where, y todo eso. ¿no? So, um, I'm going to give you three minutes. Voy a dar ahorita tres minutos. Ok. Well, four minutes, cuatro minutos. Para que contesten, o más bien para que anoten esas preguntas. De acuerdo, y les pongan ahí eh, el was y el where donde sea necesario. Vamos a hacer la primera como ejemplo. Late you this morning, why? ¿Quién se anima? ¿Cuál será la pregunta en este caso? El primero juntos como ejemplo, y luego los siguientes, les voy a dar cuatro minutos para que los hagan. Salvador Hernández. <coughs> Sería, eh, why were you late this morning? Why were you late this morning? Late this yes. morning. Yes, why were you late this morning? Así es, tenemos where you, porque es una pregunta, y como es una information question, primero tiene que ir el question word. Why were you late this morning? And the answer is, the traffic was bad. Okay, very good. Thank you. Ahora, les voy a regalar a todos cuatro minutitos para que puedan eh, hacer las siguientes, luego vamos a revisar juntos. Four minutes running right now.
Okay, time to check exercise number two or item number two. Difficult, your exam. What's the question? Raise your hand if you have it. Number two. Maria de Lourdes. Was your exam difficult? Was your exam difficult? That's correct. Was your exam difficult? You say, no, it was easy. Ahora, ¿Por qué decimos eso? Veamos acá. When you say, was your exam difficult? Sería como decir, was it difficult? So was your exam difficult? Was it difficult? Then you say, no, it was easy. Thank you, Maria. Number three, Enrique Perez. Me ayuda, teacher. Number three. Claro sí. Where were so and quién last week? Can you repeat it? Number three, teacher. N number three, please. Sí. Uh -huh. Very well, Shu and James last week. Okay, where were Sue and James last week? Like this? Where were? Like this? Who uh, and James last week? Is this what you have? Así lo tiene usted? Yes. Okay. So, where were Sue and James last week? Correct. Okay. They were on vacation. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Enrique. Okay. Cecia, number four. No, presente, no más. Ah, Estoy entrando. Más el alegrón, no, hombre. Okay, Cecia. de arreglarlos, ordenarlos. Yes. Okay. Pero bienvenida. Bienvenida, bienvenida. gracias. Okay. Number four. Who knows number four? Number four, come on. Nobody, number four, come on. Enrique, no, pero Enrique me acaba de decir lo anterior. Quiero aprender, teacher. No, pues sí, no, sí está bueno, pero quiero oír los demás también. Vaya, pero gracias, gracias. Number four, come on. Erika. Ok, teacher. Voy a intentar a ver, a ver si, me, vamos. si me sale. Y si no le eh, sale, igual vamos much? a ayudarle. Uh -huh. Ok. How much your new camera? Y le faltó esto, ¿verdad? Hay que utilizar también was y where. Ah, no solo okay, hay que okay. ordenarlo, sino que hay que agregar was and where. Ah, ok. Es que voy entrando y no, no había leído ahí. Ok. okay. Mm, how much... Uh, was your new camera that is correct how much was your new camera a hundred and twenty dollars thank you erica chat mauro orlando is está presente okay mauro ya está tomada su asistencia thank you okay number five angry you yesterday why about this one. Cecia. Why was you angry yesterday? Why was you angry yesterday? Si. Sí? Okay, but remember that we use was for the subjects. I, he, she, and it. When the subject is you, you have to use where. Where. Aha, uh -huh. so what's the correct Why form? Why were? Why were you angry yesterday? Why were you angry yesterday? Because you were late, they say. Okay, so why were you angry yesterday? Good, thank you, Cecia. Very good. And the last one, number six. Nice, the weather last week. What's the question? 
If you know, please raise your hand. Mm -hmm. The last one. Come on. Maria de Lourdes, okay. Was the weather nice last week? Was the weather nice last week? A yes, no question. Yes, it was beautiful. Thank you, Maria de Lourdes. That's the correct question. Very good. Okay, ahí lo tiene, ¿verdad? Una combinación, el ejercicio, una combinación de yes, no questions con information questions. Super bien. Let's continue. Voy a mandar esto. Okay. So what are we going to do? This is knowledge check 5.5. Everybody, take a look. Complete these questions with was or where. Okay, knowledge check. So uh, you have where you born in this city, okay? So that's the first one. Give me a moment, please. 5.5, just a second, over here, okay. Hoy sí me dejo entrar esto. Okay, es el mismo ejercicio técnicamente, so select the best answer to the question, where were you born, and you select the correct answer. So. Were you born in this city? Okay, uh, complete the questions with was and where. So what about number two? Number two. Cecia. When was you born? Again, please. When was you born? Are you sure? No. Try again. When were, otra vez. Así es. Was solamente es para los sujetos. I, he, she, e it. Ah. Ajá. Para we, you y they ocupamos where. When was you no. born? No. Not when was. Where you Ajá. born. Ajá. Ahora, completo de nuevo. When were you born. Yes. When were you born. Okay. That's right. When were you born. Thank you, Cecia. Number three. How about this one? Vamos, compañeros. No se desanimen. Enrique Pérez. Number three. Yes. Uh, where were your parents born? Where were your parents born? Yes, because it's where were they born. So where were your parents born? Chat tenemos Edith Consuelo presente. Okay, welcome, Edith. Maria Magdalena, number four. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. When were you mother born? Are you sure? Uh, when? When were? Take a look. Your okay. mother is she. She. Uh huh. So. Yeah. yeah. Was. Uh -huh. When was your mother born? When was your mother born? That is correct. Okay, good. When was your mother born? Good. Thank you. When was your father born? Okay, thank you very much. When was your father born? Thank you. <laughs> Ever Enrique, number six. Number six. 
were you and your family in this city last night, last year? Correct. Were you and your family in this city last year? Very good. Thank you. What about number seven? Number seven. You know the answer? Or if you know the word to complete the sentence or to complete the question, please raise your hand. Cecia. Está fácil. Vamos. Muchas reglas, señor. Were uh -huh. you at this school last year? Were you at this school last year? Okay, yeah, that's correct. Were you at this school last year? Good. Very good. Number eight. Number eight, Maria Magdalena. Who, who was your first English? No matter the demás, teacher. Teacher, yeah. Who was your first English teacher? <laughs> Correct. Very good. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Who was your first English teacher? Number nine. Uh, Cecia takes number nine and Juan Francisco number ten. So, Cecia. La respuesta la número ocho, licenciado Iván Doñán, ¿verdad? Ah, oh, really? I'm your first English teacher in all your life? Me acuerdo de los nombres de los demás. Ah, oh, va, wow, bueno. Eso es diferente, pero está bien. Ok, thank you. Ok, so... El number uh, nine. Number nine. What nationality was your first English teacher? What nationality was your first English teacher? Okay, thank you very much. And the last one, quien me había levantado la mano y se arrepintió. Por ahí me había levantado la mano. Okay, number 10. Enrique. Number 10. Yes. What was here of Shilai? Can you repeat it? What was she or she like? What was he or she like? ¿Cómo era? Descripción de personalidad. ¿verdad? What was he or she like? ¿Cómo era? Okay. So, um, that's the thing. En personalidad, ¿verdad? Acuérdense la pregunta. Usted le dice, what is? Sería en presente. Or what are, presente, like. Usted le describa a determinada persona o cosa. Pero si está preguntando en pasado, ¿cómo era? ¿Verdad? What was he or she like? ¿Cómo era? So, um, there you go. You have the questions right there. ¿Alguna consulta antes de continuar? Tenemos aquí la parte de los años. The years. Take a look. Lo que les mencionaba el día de ayer. Say 1906. Cuando decimos los años, por lo general, usted va a mencionar primero los primeros dos dígitos, como que si fueran un solo número, y luego los otros dos. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I was born in... A diferencia del español que decimos 1985, decimos el número enterito, en inglés no decimos, I was born in 1985. Eso sería súper largo y no muy práctico. Así que en su lugar, separamos las primeras dos cifras de las otras dos y las decimos de manera individual. 1985. ¿Qué sucede cuando es un año como este que lleva un cero? Entonces decimos... Nineteen... O oh, six, nineteen o six. Okay. So you have nineteen seventeen. 
1999. Pero ¿qué pasa después? A partir del año 2000, cambia un poco la forma en que se utiliza. Ya no decimos 2001, sino decimos 2001. Aquí se dice el número completo. Pero, ¿de qué número a qué número? Por, más bien, ¿de qué año a qué año? No son números, hay que decirlos de la forma que debe ser. Pero cuando son años, ahí es que varía. Si es del año 2000 hasta el año 2010, por lo general usted va a tener que decir el número entero. Es decir, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. Después del año 2010, usted tiene la opción de decir ya sea el año entero o el año de forma separada. Así que ya en el 2011, usted puede decir 2011 o puede decir 2011. Por eso este año tenemos, usted puede decir 2023 o puede decir 2023. Este año sería 2023 o 2023. Cualquiera de los dos. Es del año 2000 al 2010 que hay que se menciona el número enterito como es. ¿verdad? Y antes de eso, pues ya sabe usted, se dicen primero los primeros dos dígitos como un solo número y luego los segundos dos dígitos como un solo número. José Benjamín Gavidia dice que ya está presente. Ok, welcome, José Benjamín. So, uh, again, you have 1906, 1917, 1999. 2001. Okay? That's the idea. Give me a second. Please. Okay, we're going to do this exercise now. Take a look. It's a conversation and you need to select from the box. Melissa says, were you born here in the U.S., Luis? And the answer is, no, I wasn't. I was born in the Caribbean. So that's the answer right there. So you have the next uh, part of the conversation. Melissa asks, oh, were you born in Cuba? What does Luis say? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Tienen que elegir de este cuadro que está acá. Were you born in Cuba? Ever Enrique. I was born in Puerto Plata. I was born in Puerto Plata, but okay, but take a look. What kind of question is this? Is this an information question or a yes no question? Eso nos cambia un poquito ahí la respuesta. Were you born in Cuba? Let's see, María de Lourdes. Es, no, yes, no question. It's a yes, no question. Y la, la respuesta, no, I'm from the Domini Dominican Republic. Okay, it's no, I'm from the Dominican Republic. Okay. Dominican Republic. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Maria Lourdes. So, were you born in Cuba? And Luis says, no, I am from the Dominican Republic. Okay, so um, what about the next one? Melissa says, really? What city were you born in? Ever Enrique. Ahora sí. Ahora I sí. was born in Puerto Plata. <laughs> I was born in Puerto Plata. Yeah, that's correct, because now we have an information question. What city were you born in? And Luis says, I was born in Puerto Plata. Cecia Gemima. Melissa says, 
were your parents born in Puerto Plata too? Yes, they were. We were all born there. Yes, they were. We were all born there. Todos nacimos ahí. Yes, they were. We were all born there. Thank you, Cecia. That's correct. Melissa asks, and why did you come to the U.S.? Now, look, we have a question with a different verb. Ahora es una pregunta con el verbo come. ¿Qué significa? Que ahora vamos a emplear lo que aprendimos anteriormente para hacer una pregunta. En past simple necesitamos ocupar el auxiliar did. Okay, so why did you come to the U.S.? What's the answer? Maria de Lourdes. I came here to study English. I came here to study English. Yeah, that's correct. I came here to study English. Very good. Thank you. Then Melissa says or asks, so when did you move here? Cuando te mudaste aquí? When did you move here? What's the answer? When did you move here? Cecia. I moved here in 2002. I moved here in 2002. Pero acordémonos, ¿verdad? No podemos decir moved, ¿verdad? <laughs> no se vale. O sea, I moved here in 2002. Moved. Moved. Okay. I moved here in 2002. Thank you, Cecia. That's correct. And then Melissa says, really? How old were you then? What's the answer? How old were you then? Karen Julissa Vasquez de Aparicio. I was 16. I was 16. Okay, that's the answer. Correct. Was 16. Very good. Thank you. I was 16. And Melissa asks, was it scary? Was it scary? Cecia. Ultima, la que falta. The last one, yes. No, it wasn't. I love it. it. Love it? Love it. it. Loved it. Okay. So, was it scary? You say, no, it wasn't. I loved it. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, very good. Nice. Thanks for your participation. Okay. Just give me a second. All right. So, a couple extra exercises. No, mejor un pequeño repaso. Un repaso acá. Always remember, okay, uh, the verb be in the past. This is the form, okay? No lo olviden. Affirmative form. When the subject is I, he, she, it, we use was. When the subject is we, you, or they, we have to use where. Very important. The negative form for the subjects I, he, she, and it, you say wasn't. Or the complete form was not. For the subjects, we, you, and they, you say, weren't. Or the full form, were not. For the questions, you are going to use was, and then the subjects, I, he, she, and it. So you say, was I, was he, was she, was it. And you use where for the subjects, we, you, and they. So you say, were we, were you, were they. Like in the examples, was the weather nice when you were on vacation? Your shoes are nice. Were they expensive? Sorry. Why were you late this morning? How much was your jacket? Was the exam easy? The short answers. Affirmative, you say, yes, I was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, it was. Yes, we were. Yes, you were. Yes, they were. Negative, no, I wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, she wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, we weren't. No, you weren't. No, they weren't. Were you late? No, I wasn't. 
Was Tom at work yesterday? Yes, he was. Were Sue and Jim at the party? No, they weren't. So uh, just to finish, we're going to do a little conversation here. I need volunteers to answer the questions. Voy a hacer una pregunta de acá, ¿ok? Y me las contesta. Vamos a ver. Pero anímense a contestar, ¿ok? The first one. No le voy a decir la primera, where you born in this city, porque no estamos en la misma ciudad todos, ¿verdad? Yo estoy en una y ustedes están en otra. Así que vamos a irnos por la segunda. When were you born? Eso sí, me la pueden decir. For example, I was born in 1985. When were you born? Si quieren ser bien específicos, pueden decirlo así. Preguntan, when were you born? Y ustedes contestan, I was born in, luego de eso, solo el año. For example, I was born in 1985. Pero si les pregunto, si usted quiere ser más específico, va a ocupar una preposición diferente. Va a decir, I was born on. On indica que usted va a dar la fecha de su cumpleaños. El día, exacto. So, tendría que ser más largo. So, I was, my case, right? I was born on July 23rd, 1985. It's my birthday. So, I was born July 23rd, 1985. So, uh, Cecia, when were you born? Entonces me fue la manita, pero sí voy a contestar. Dele. When I were you was, born? Ajá, I ajá. was born in Santa Ana. Ah, but be careful. The question is not where were you born. The question is when were you born? Ah, cuando. Ajá. I was born in 1978. I was born in 1978. Okay. All right. Good. I was born in 1978. There you go. Nice. Enrique Perez. Yeah. Question uh, number two. When were you born? I I was born December 2nd, uh, 1970. I was born on December 2nd, 1970. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Maria Magdalena, question number three is for you. Where were your parents born? Maria Magdalena. Ni a levantar la mano. No me contesta. Okay, Maria Magdalena, where were your parents born? Where were your parents? Me está preguntando de mis, mis padres. Sus padres, así es. Uy, my so, parents uh -huh. born. My parents, falta el born. verbi. Antes de born, falta el my, verbi en pasado. My parents. My, my parents. Eh, where? Eh, where? Were born. Were born. In on January. Ah, but look, the, the question is where? A place. For example, my parents were born in Suchitoto. Ah, okay. My parents were on were born. My parents were born. My parents were born in on in, la in, unión. In la unión. In la unión. In la okay. unión. Mm -hmm. Two. My, okay. My parents were born in la unión. Los dos son de la unión. So, yeah. my parents were born in la unión. Fuera el caso que, digamos, su madrecita fuera de un lugar y su papá de otro, entonces puede decir, my mother was born in, y ya me dice de dónde, and my father was born in, y ya me dice el otro lugar. Okay. 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 Thank you, Maria Magdalena. 
Number three, alguien más que se anime a la número tres. Where were your parents born? Where were your parents born? Wilber. Hi. Bueno, este, my parents were born in born. Born, born. Born, ah. Born in Iloasco. Iloasco. My parents were yeah. born in Iloasco. Okay. Tenía artesanía. Okay. My parents were born in Iloasco. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Good. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Question number eight. Who was your first English teacher? No me van a decir que yo. No les creo que yo haya sido el primero en toda su vida. ¿verdad? Uh, alguien tuvo que haberle dado una clasecita de inglés en algún momento. So, who was your first English teacher? For example, my first English teacher was Miriam de Ventura. Okay, that was her name. Long time ago. Okay, Baudilio and then Maria de Lourdes. Baudilio, who was your first English teacher? My first teacher was Duolingo. Duolingo. <laughs> okay. No, no tuvo ningún teacher antes de, de ocupar la aplicación, va a decir. No le creo, no le creo. Ok. Bueno, uh, María de Lourdes, who was your first English teacher? She was um, Silvia de Villalta. Silvia de Villalta, ok. All right. Ok, good, good. <laughs> Okay, one more person. Who was your first English teacher? Alguien más? Recuerdo de mi primera clase de inglés, yo bien contento que había aprendido a decir unas palabritas. Iba a segundo grado. <laughs> okay, so who was your first English teacher? Tell me. Alguien más? Okay, no, nadie se acuerda de su primer maestro. Karen Julissa, who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher is Eliseo what? Barahona. Was Eliseo Barahona. Yes. Okay, my first English teacher was Eliseo Barahona. Okay, vamos a tomar asistencia rapidín. Los únicos que me faltan que me contesten. Erika Beatriz, creo que ya está por acá. ¿O no? Erika Beatriz. Okay, thank you, Erika. Um, and uh, Santos Mauricio Arias. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. No se conectó hoy. Bueno, okay. De nuevo, por favor, sigan trabajando en la plataforma. Tienen que terminar esos ejercicios. Si los pueden terminar hoy, súper bien, ¿verdad? Si no, mañana, vayanlos terminando. Tienen que hacer también el final exam el cual también vamos a dar una retroalimentación el día jueves. Así que no se descuiden de eso. También, por favor, vayan aprendiéndose esos verbos irregulares, la forma en pasado y el past participle. Como les decía antes, a este, al, al nivel que estamos ahorita se espera que se aprenda en la forma en pasado, pero recomendadísimo. Se, se lo digo yo, que, que vengo dando clases desde el año 2005, así que ya tengo... 18 años de hacer esto. Yo les recomiendo encarecidamente, si se pueden aprender de una sola vez el past participle que, está, que aparece a la par, aprendan solo de un solo. Vieran, eso les va a facilitar la existencia después. Me lo van a agradecer. Bueno, no, no me lo van a agradecer a mí. Se lo van a agradecer a ustedes mismos por haberlo hecho, ¿verdad? Así que váyanselos aprendiendo. Eso les va a servir mucho después. Ese past participle se utiliza para varias estructuras en inglés. Así que, entre más pronto se lo puedan, mejor. Everybody, thank you very much, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good thank night. You, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank, thank you tomorrow. tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher.